Hello again, welcome to another video. So we're uh, back in the uh, retro cabin and back in the uh, on the Dreamcast Arcade. So I've got my arcade stick here, all, all set up on this cabinet. Uh, and the game I want to play is one of my week pickups called Dolphin Blue. Now I got this game from uh, Night into Dream. If you check out their website, I'll repeat that Night into Dream. They've got fantastic reproductions and hacks. Uh, now this 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 I found them on the shop app or Shopify if you look. So you'll find them great great. This was sixteen pounds, really nice case, really well printed. Uh, the disc is a nice printed disc which is in the Dreamcast at the minute. But you get spine card, and you get a little card like that. It's a nice little touch, and the spine card's a nice little touch. So I've got it in the uh, RK unit. Dolphin blue it is. Just double check that. Look, dolphin blue. So it's not a new game, it's been out for a while, but it's basically it's a run and gun. And I believe it's a, it's a plays similar to Metal Slug. So I love Metal Slug. So uh, let's unmute it and let's have a go. Zoom you guys in. It does take a while to load, I must admit. Uh, but I think that's the, it's because it's a reproduction. Uh, but it, 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 Thomas Ware, Wave, or Wave, Ware, was... Uh, I'm sure that's like an arcade board, wasn't it? It did certain arcade uh, units and machines. Uh, so, I don't know, if you can answer me in the comments, was this a uh, Dolphin Blue originally just a arcade release? And obviously someone's uh, adapted and converted it to the Dreamcast. <laughs> So now it looks like we're actually on the dolphin. <laughs> Graphics are nice. slow down but it really does help it's on free play you see so it must be an arcade game there was a lot of, a lot of slow down there well that must be loading then mid stage I'm on the boss now. 
Yeah, I'm really surprised by this. It's a, it's a really cool game. Uh, it's very much like Metal Slug, and I love Metal Slug. So this is one of my, one of my new favourite games on the Dreamcast, I think. And I've got a Metal Slug on the Dreamcast, and I've got Metal Slug, uh, another version. Yeah. I've got a Metal Slug F10 as well, it's not very good. Very much like Metal Slug, I'm loving this game, Dolphin Blue. Uh, never knew about it in the arcades, but yeah, great. What I said about Dreamcast was though, I've got uh, I've got Metal Slug on Dreamcast, fantastic game, but then I've got a uh, Metal Slug X or 10, uh, and that does not run very well on the Dreamcast. The, the, the conversion of it is really, really slow, but yeah, this this game, oh my god, it's uh, it's right up my alley. This game is Dolphin Blue. Drink a coffee. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm loving it. Uh, I, I mean, I knew about it, but uh, I saw it on that uh, night in the dream and thought, yeah, I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to get it. It's £16 for the disc, the case, and all the bits, of, you know, little extra bits. Uh, and I had a, yeah, I'm going to get a few more games off them, I think. I think the quality of it's fantastic. I do really do recommend them. <laughs> Trying to save her, obviously. Oh, you see them.
it's cool playing with the arcade stick as well. It feels really natural. I do like the Dreamcast arcade stick. It's uh, it's probably my favourite arcade stick. It's weighty, feels good. Uh, yeah, and the buttons are all in a nice place. Ergonomic. It's really cool. I've got two of these uh, arcade sticks. I've got a backup one as well. Oh, making real, real silly mistakes. Look, he's on free play. I'm not going to see if we can play this all the way to completion. I can't, I can't imagine it be that many levels. Five? What a four? You can just see the light there from my cabin. I have to put my head in the way. Wait, watch, disappeared now. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I have to have a quick look in the case. It tells you on here how many levels there is. So, like, it comes with like a, a card. 
and uh, it says players two, players two, levels five. So that's it, and tells you a bit about the game. So put that back in there. Really cool. It's, it's cool how people, you know, make these things and for the market and the reproduction, but the, the quality is fantastic. So obviously, but fighting her next. It's an odd place to put your buttons, isn't it? So the thing about hacks and repros is sometimes take a little bit longer than normal to, to load. And it's obviously, it must be cane in the laser, but I, I, you just put a new laser in. I know Retro 6 used to do replacement GD1 drives. I don't know if they still do or not. But I love putting discs in. I don't want the, uh, the SD card. You know what I mean? See what got me then? Ah, oh, bombs. That's what got me. Yeah, it's really, this, I'm really surprised by this game. It's really enjoyable. It's uh, like Metal Slug, but it's got a di different twist on it, obviously, with the dolphin. Oh. to grenade.
gone out all the way to so much money in the arcade how many continues I've used. There you go. Yeah, it's, I'll tell you what, it's a cracking game. To show you, to show you again. Uh, yeah, Dolphin Blue, I highly recommend it. If you like Metal Slug, this will be right up your street. Uh, back to it. on this bit. Yeah, that was hard because you had the spikes in the water. It's hard, it was hard to avoid them. Yeah, really enjoy it. It's so good. It makes you wonder what other games you kind of missed out on, doesn't it?
first goal of the year. Let's do one more level. I don't want this video to be too long, but yeah, just want to get, show you a really good example of this game. It's really good. Yeah, it's passed by. I've not even looked at any gameplay. I've heard, I've heard about, about it years ago, uh, but never really, you know, bit the bullet and uh, took the plunge aboard here. But really impressive here. Just a low task, but you can pull it with that because obviously it's a hat game, so. Oh, I'm close to the spike of all things. Yeah, it's an epic game. Let's get to this last boss and then we'll call it a day on the video. What are we at now? 29. Yeah, it's uh, so it took me about almost a minute. I keep saying it took me about a surprise. Great game. So much happening on the screen.
underwater level again. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's pause it there. Let's stop the video there, so I'll give you a bit of a final thoughts on it. I wonder if, it, I wonder if this resets by using the controller. Probably not. But yeah, so, let's zoom you out. Yeah, so, Dolphin Blue. I'm just going to die now, it doesn't matter though. So, Dolphin Blue, uh, for the Sega Dreamcast. I think it looks like it's uh, an arcade conversion. Uh, and obviously, it's a hack game reproduction. But yeah, so you get a lovely disc. I'll tell you what, let me show you the disc. Let me open it up and I'll show you the disc. It's a lovely printed disc. Oh. If the camera doesn't fall, sorry about that. Just bear with me one second. I've just knocked it over. All right. It's still playing up, so it's obviously loading in. Let's turn it off. Right, so, sorry about that, that's the disc. Lovely printed disc, really nice that is, isn't it? So what you get with it, and this is from, uh, I mentioned again, I put it in the description as well, a Night into Dream, of course. So you get a lovely printed disc, uh, spine card, which actually comes around it when it's wrapped in polythene, uh, really nice. And you get an instruction manual, which is obviously the front cover as well. And uh, with all the advertisements on it, look, and uh, a little game card as well, with information about the game, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. See you later.